Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom on this Wednesday evening, which means it is the next installment, episode seven of Agatha All Along. And before we jump into it, I have to say a few things about last episode. Questions, ideas, theories, and then responding to some comments that I saw. If you need to jump ahead, go ahead. But here's my stream of conscious thought at you. What I have found fascinating about this series is almost every episode is a different type of storytelling. It's a different vibe. It's a different feeling. Yet somehow it seems to mesh and feel cohesive, in my opinion. And what I especially enjoyed about last episode was how quiet it was. Even the loud scenes like of his bar mitzvah and the car accident, while it was loud, it still had a sense of quietness to it. And it kind of felt like we were slowly moving through molasses, sort of muffled sometimes the noise. And it was very disorientating, which it was supposed to be. I think it was supposed to be. It was deliberate because we were in how we were feeling how Billy was feeling trapped now in a body that was not familiar in a situation, no idea what was happening. Everybody was confused. And I think we were supposed to be, and that was fabulous. And I know a question I had was, or a wish I had had, was that we saw more of William interest in, in magic and where William Billy, William Billy specifically, made the switch to dive more into witchcraft and whatnot. Thank you to those of you who pointed out, well, he was already kind of there with all of his posters showing he was interested in different realms and magic and mystical stuff. And his even his bar mitzvah had a tarot card reader there. So yes, I guess we did see examples of that there. It just wasn't in my face. And I was so paying attention to everything else that I missed it. So now the big thing, the big thing for me was the comment and suggestion that Billy broke the rules of magic by inhabiting a dead body. My opinion, I don't think he broke any rules. And here's why. <laughs> it wasn't as if it was an adult magician knowingly went into a dead body, aka Dr. Strange. Oh, no, no, no. We had a four day old figment of a spell that was suddenly <laughs> hurled into the nether sphere as the hex was collapsing. And all I could hear were people screaming, William, 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 and went, oh, that's my name. And by happenstance, a young lad, similar name, being shout out, <laughs> That's why he dumped into William. So I don't think he broke any rules because he wasn't a person. <laughs> he wasn't a full on magician. He wasn't a corporal being. He was a figment of a spell. Therefore, I don't think he broke any rules. And that's what I'm sticking to right there. <laughs> I also don't think he broke any rules because before it even happened, Lilia saw William's future, saw the broken lifelines, saw a teen in the crystal ball. It was destined to happen. Therefore, again, no rules broken. I'm just finding this twi these twists and turns fascinating and I cannot wait to see what happens next. So thank you so much for joining me while we get settled in cozy, comfy. We are going to take a moment to hit subscribe or even better if you wish to. And you can join me on Patreon where you can watch this full episode unedited on my twitches and throat clearing and whatnot. It's great entertainment. And if you're wondering what my beverage is today, it is a uh, Trader Joe's organic low calorie pink lemonade. Yes, it's straight from the bottle because I only have this much left in. I really don't want to dirty another glass. It's been a long week. Let me know what you're drinking. Let me know where you are. I would love to hear from you. So if you are ready, I think I'm ready. So let's get to it. They kind of hated each other in the beginning, but now... Now, I also have another theory about the road. I'll share in a few. I'll share in a few. We'll see what happens. Okay, 
here's our Wizard of Oz episode. And she's Glinda the Good. Oh! Oh! Intriguing segue there. I'll get a nosebleed trying that hard to read my mind. I'm not. Oh. Because he has to feel something extra special for Agatha. You just can ask me your questions. For his power to work. Allowed. Okay then, where's Rio? True, where is she? Any other queries for your old babysitter? Yeah, Rio hasn't appeared yet. I'm your mom's ex. Best friend. For four days. She's not my mom. I have a mom. Ooh. Ooh. Is Wanda Maximoff really dead? Good question. Yes. No. Maybe. That's different. Yeah, that is. Is that the Wicked Queen's castle? Wicked Witch of the West, I should say. Wicked Queen. Wicked Witch of the West. In my experience. In your experience? I, I honestly believe your experience would be the key to our success here. We're alive. Success. Now I wonder if you've ever been on the road at all. That was my question. So my theory. If I can say it and keep paying attention at the same time, oh, this is the Wicked Witch of the of the West. Uh huh. Wait. Classic. Ma Maleficent. <laughs> She's based on me. <laughs> Not surprising. But you seem <laughs> pleased with your look. Well, if the cheekbones fit. Love it. Love it. So, uh, obviously you're leaving somewhere behind, and... What is his spread? What is the spread? Okay, this card hasn't really come up much for me, so... Oh, no. Does that mean he was right or he was wrong? Cool. Seven of Swords. At least you're on theme. I know this one, it's about deception and betrayal. But it's reversed. Hmm. You're being truthful. About what? Tarot is a con like any other. There's no magic to it, there's no skill. It's about intuition, knowing which card- Oh, I got a story for y'all later. I need <laughs> until we get the right cards in the right spots or the ceiling runs out of sword. But that will take forever. Oh, we still have some time. <gasps> oh, they got 30 minutes, that's right. Nope. Fun. I wish Lily was here. Mm. You very clearly said we had to follow this gross tunnel and look for shelving. Shelving? Shelving. I don't know what that means. Neither do I, but I listen to you. <laughs> the son of the Scarlet Witch kicked us off the road. What? Teen is the son of the Scarlet Witch? How do you know? Lilia, isn't the sigil broken and now you should know? I told you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lilia. Lilia's not having a good day. I have a feeling they're under the road. You said this might happen, but you're being extra wispy, kooky. Which is it? Am I wispy or am I kooky? A bit of both, if I'm honest. Alice! Alice, don't try to save Agatha! Uh... Here we go. Maestra? Ah, Kabishko. You are visiting. Huh? How long has it been? She's back in time now. Centuries. We're having a lesson? Your first. Huh? Oh. 
I was bad at tea leaves. Fesserie. This is a fiction you told yourself and tell yourself still. <laughs> her memories told her she's bad. But her memories. What do you see, Lilia? Lilia. She sees the grim. Don't worry. I haven't heard them since the subway station. I'm talking about the Salem Seven. I know that. You look at me and you see some doddering old broad. Well, tell me what more I should see when I look at you. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean it. You mentioned something about gaps. Did we miss a scene that was edited about the Salem Seven in a subway station? When I was a child, I experienced my life out of sequence. Ooh. Ooh. Now it's happening again, and it's get <laughs> it's getting worse. Why is it getting worse? End of life. Maybe because I'm close to the end of the road. Sure. I'm not so sure I want it. Ah! Agatha. Oh. Oh my god, Jen's outfit. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa. I, I, I thought we were cool. We are not cool, teenager. Damn, using his full name. <laughs> oh, that was another thought I had too. I'm gonna have to write down these thoughts I have so I can go back to them later. I didn't know that I could. I'm not lying to you. It was a surprise to me too. If I'd have known, I, I would have. You're reading my mind. Only because it's so loud. The flow of time is an illusion, right? So trust me when I say, you're not mad at the kid anymore. Oh yeah, I guess I get off me. That was one of her things. What are you wearing? I don't want to talk about it. What am I wearing? <laughs> this is so demeaning. <laughs> Focus up, Calderu. We can be culturally offended later. <laughs> how did they get there? I want to know how they got there. Tell me about your life now. Ooh, this could be a sad tale. Are you rooted in nature? No. Are you nimble with your craft? Mm hmm. Have you a coven? Huh. Mm. My theory! A witch requires a coven. My theory! It didn't work out for me the first time. It's sure not going well now. Ooh, what happened to her last coven? Your task is not to control. But to see. Feel it. Just feel it. Oh. Like with Jen and Alice. You get any new intel on your mental walkabout? I know what the next trial is. It's tarot. Why did you say that? Because you're the one who told me. Oh. Ah. This. Ooh, it's painful, but I get it. But it's painful. <gasps> His spell book. How did it end up down there, though? You said this used to happen to you when you were younger. Why did it stop? She walked away with my craft. Why? Because all I saw was death. Oh my god. <gasps> Is that? Shelves! <laughs> I wish Lilia was here. You're alive. That's what he says. You're alive. Not, I am so sorry I flung you into the muck. But, oh, you're alive. Surprise. Who massacred this spread? Hey. She did. Teen must ask. Ask her how we're getting out of here. The question must be vital to his journey on Earth. I'd say it's pretty vital. Lilia, can you just steal or whatever? He must ask a question. What does it matter? Proper tarot takes time and care. And leads to large gaping wounds. Am I William or am I Billy? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, that's a question. That's 
a very good question. This is the safe passage spread. The first card is you. You must overcome all to reach your destination. You are the magician. A little too spot on the nose. Very fitting. <laughs> Choose your next card. What's missing? Mm. <laughs> the sun. Good fortune. Joy. Reunion. Reunion. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Get off me. You know, we really hated each other from the beginning, but now. I love you guys. I'm missing. Exactly. Why are you on this journey? To get my power back. Is it gone? This is not the true reason. Then remember yourself. What's worth remembering? That you died? That I saw it coming? Our entire coven wiped out by a fever? I saw it? I told you? But it didn't change anything. Death comes for us all. This is what we all have in common. This episode, y'all, is hitting me in places. It's hitting me in places. <clears throat> what will you do with your remaining time? Jen, wake up. Oh my gosh, this back and forth is maddening. But I get it. But it's maddening. Which way do we go? Well, look at the options. Was this when we get the subway? The seven. Hi. They're going backwards? I'm going to take this path toward my trial. Agatha and Billy need my help. I hope you'll join me. Why? Because you are my sister in the craft. I know what I did wrong. My path winds out of time. Let's go backwards. I am the traveler. Oh, but I want to know Billy's Billy's answers. I am the Queen of Cups. Now you see. Empathetic, intuitive. Yes, you're a mensch, Lilia, but let's say we played the card. <laughs> What's missing? Three of Pentacles. Uh. Collaboration, community, singular voices waiting to harmonize. I needed you. My coven. The path ahead. High Priestess. Ah. The windfall. The tower. Reversed. The destination. So if Agatha had just let herself keep falling, she would have ended up that? in this tunnel. Don't you recognize me, Lilia? Oh, <gasps> death. She's dying, oh no! Who is here with us tonight? D, T, H. Death comes for them all. Rio is. But death doesn't, doesn't, death doesn't mean death. It just means end. Looks like an R. <laughs> Rio. She's death. The original Green Witch. Is it true? What can I say? I like the bad boys. <laughs> the seven. They're here. Quick. Everyone in the Iron Maiden. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> when she calls you a coward, hit the deck. What? Go. Magic. Is Lilia gonna sacrifice herself? I'm not going before you. You're the path ahead, Jennifer. Lilia! 
I loved being a witch. She is sacrificing herself. I loved being a witch. We are not losing Lilia. You may not know this about the road, but when you successfully complete a trial, like I just did, it's not a good idea to overstay your welcome. Usually, something terrible happens. Sudden upheaval. <gasps> like the Tower of Right. All the stories are coming down. Oh, oh no, she's reversing things. Oh no. Oh, are they gonna get all impaled? Let us begin. Oh, this song. Oh, this song. This is the song. This is the song. Okay, I'll try to collect myself and form a sentence. Um, I did not expect to be hit so hard in the feels about this episode, and I'm not exactly sure why. I have some ideas. I have many theories now. I have many theories. Many theories. Okay. <laughs> where where do I begin? Last episode and this episode has done an incredibly good job of making us feel what our main character or the main focal point of that episode is. Last episode, it was William Billy's disorientation of his new world. In this episode, it was Lilia's frustration of jumping in and out of time and living her life out of sequence. So my theory, here was the theory I was gonna try to say all throughout the episode. And this last episode kind of confirms that this, my feeling is pretty spot on. I just don't know how it will play out. So here's my theory, right, okay. Questionable, did Agatha actually go on the witch's road and succeed? And that's how she gained her power. Why is it questionable? Because she doesn't seem that familiar. Like all the trials are different. I guess let me rephrase this differently. We know she traded her son for the Darkhold. Her son was on the witch's road with her and that was her trial. And she was given a choice, Darkhold power or her son, which seems not like a trial. She wouldn't have to go on the witch's road, I think for that situation to occur. And I don't think Rio was with her on that road journey. So questionable that Agatha actually did the journey of the road. Here's another reason why. It's called the witches, plural, road. You need a coven to open the door. You need a coven to go through each trial and you have to rely on each other. So I think the witch's road, yes, death could come at any time. It's very dangerous. But part of me wonders if at the end of the journey, if you all, if you succeed and if you succeed with, succeed, I should say, with more than one person, maybe those you've lost on the journey come back. Glory in the end is the last line, right? you gain what's missing or you go and you find what's missing well what did Lilia just find at the end of her journey she was missing her coven she was missing the strength of her witch sisters <laughs> oh my gosh oh so <laughs> i need a second okay so sharon we saw dead dead <laughs> alice we saw dead dead Lilia faded to black, but she went back in time and she lives her life out of a sequence. So I don't know, maybe Lilia, I should say Lilia, 
maybe Lilia survives, or maybe they might, again, at the end of the glory in the end, they find their coven. That is their strength, is their sisterhood. So that's my theory. <laughs> we'll see if it holds out. Okay, and why this tarot thing was, oh, okay. So here's my story. Tarot cards are not unheard of in some side of my family. My grandmother read tarot. I started to become interesting in tarot. And one of the um, exercises you do when you're learning is that every day you draw a card, study that card, see how that card is reflected throughout your day. And I know a lot of people will think tarot is like horoscope. You'll get out of it what you put into it. So day one, read the tarot card, you know, sort of vague-ish. But that day, something similar to that card came true. It's like, oh, funny, haha, ha, isn't this neat? Day two, read the card throughout that day. Items from that card, again, came true. So I'm like, ooh, I do have magic. This is exciting. Day three, came true. Day four, it came true, but it was not a good card that day. And it was when I first started writing and first started submitting. And the card said, you know, you could get a rejection. I don't know why I'm holding my phone. You could get a rejection letter. And that afternoon was my very first rejection letter on my very first submission on the first book I ever wrote. Came in the mail that day. And something so specific makes you go, oh, wait a minute. Day five, day six each day that card would come true. So by the end of week two, I am now a mess because the good things happen, but so did the bad things. And then you start thinking, okay, maybe what can I do to subvert what this card is telling me is going to happen to that day? But then you have to weigh the question. If I subvert that bad card, will something even worse happen because I didn't take a lesson from what that card and event is supposed to teach me or show me. And it became to a point where I was afraid or I was getting more afraid to leave the house because I just wanted to stay in bed. Oh my gosh, this car said bad things gonna happen and things have been happening every day for the last two, two and a half, now three weeks. I don't wanna go outside. And um, that's not a way to live at all in any capacity. You, even if you know bad things are going to happen, you can't avoid to live a life. And second guessing yourself and triple guessing yourself, that is no way to live. So maybe that, I think that's one of the reasons why this episode hit me really hard was Lilia's struggle of not embracing her sisterhood and her craft and the people was because all she saw was their deaths. And she can't prevent them or she couldn't prevent them. She warned her mother, her grandmother, I'm not sure who that was, and they still died. So I felt that. Oh, I felt that so to the bone. I I I felt oh. Oh, so um so I <laughs> don't read tarot cards every day. Every time I do do a spread comes true and then it freaks me out again and I put them away for a while I will pull them out if I'm um, facing like a major change or a life crisis or something's happening and I'm not sure how I could or should go forward or where whatever it is that's coming from nowhere what's the best way to process it or what does it mean so I will pull out the cards and and go through them but they always are true always true and it always freaks me out when I do it <laughs> so yes I felt this episode um when I say this is my favorite episode I don't know yet I think I'll need to see the whole series and how it wraps up before I can determine but this was definitely a highlight even though I'm like a total mess this was a highlight episode and I really hope Lilia isn't dead gosh Patty what a before it's so subtle again it's not loud. The show isn't loud. It's so subtle. But, but, okay, I will have one thing where I'm side-eyeing. The Salem Seven. Terrible baddie, they're after you. They looked scary and dangerous. And they got taken out so quickly? Did they get taken out in a grand fashion? Yes, but it was rather easy. 
did we need a battle or a fight some sort of <laughs> dr strange-esque level of sorcery before they went out being impaled on swords you let me know how you felt about how the salem seven went out or if you think they went out at all they're just still alive yeah oh my gosh my brain's all over the place i'm gonna have to take a while to process but there we go episode seven i don't know if we have two or three more left to go but i'm so excited to see where this series is going and i'm going to be so sad when it's done maybe possibly okay thank you so much for being with me i'm gonna go blow my nose <laughs> but until next time please take care of yourselves stay hydrated eat something substantial toast do you want to talk about magic toast is magical it could be sweet it could be savory it can be a vehicle for other things have some toast and then come back and see the next video in the queue so thanks again you all and until next time 